Oh, hello there. Uh, today, I wanted to make a quick video about um, this channel called Seeker. It's definitely worth a watch. Uh, I check it out periodically. Um, you know, take what they've got to say with a grain of salt, and most especially with this video, but it is worth watching. Uh, it came out yesterday, I believe. Um, it's uh, called Scientists Are Close to Eliminating Pain. Here's how. And it's hosted by Julian Hugiet. Uh, may, may as well be a huge rat for all I care because he's the rat in this in this uh, video. Uh, and people like me are the the mice that he, he talks about. Um, it's a very intricate subject, like a lot of things to do with science, and a lot of them are uh, you know like not good things. Uh, he indicates that they are close to finding um, a way of eliminating pain. And I, I've done a video before, uh, probably a few, uh, but more specifically about pain, um, where I indicated that the scientific community has a very different opinion about how to manage it and discourage it and... Uh, you know, uh, medication-free way of dealing with it. Uh, I talked about the BBC short that I watched. Uh, I've already forgotten those actors' names. I couldn't give one tinker shit about any of them. But anyway, uh, the problems I have with this is the guy is still lying when he's telling the story. The thing about these channels is they're... People observe. People are watching them incorrectly. They're watching them because they think everything that this person is saying is factually accurate, and what they are saying is what they want you to think, which is true. But it's also that uh, they want you to think their narrative, and that's not what they think themselves. And this guy is a rat because he wouldn't fucking do any of the shit that he fucking. He, he would talk about uh, if you got to listen to more of what he would actually say. Okay, in this video, um, he says that they are close to eliminating pain. And the thing is, painkillers traditionally, uh, you know, if you look at them as a whole, don't eliminate pain. They eliminate certain kinds of pain. Uh, if an individual becomes addicted because the doctor gone down gave him too much at the wrong time, you know, to control hemorrhaging or, or whatever, uh, and they become addicted, you know, in the long run, it didn't do anything for their pain. It caused it worse. It caused psychological damage and all that other kind of shit. Uh, their fault. Not your fault. Their fault. They should accept that. But they won't. Um, and... You know, uh, he started uh, talking about mice and how they were actually putting electric electronic equipment onto them, onto their brains to see which parts of their brains would be stimulated. Uh, this opens the door to a whole lot of other creepy thoughts. I mean, me indirectly, no, there isn't an electronic device attached to my brain for them to monitor. However, given my social circumstances, and I have no other choice but to make YouTube channels where I get to talk about things, uh, you know, metaphorically, there is one. So, one could surmise that in my position, that they would do this to a guy like me, you know, they got jack shit on me, but, you know, somebody whom they've deemed unworthy of society, which is a lot of, happens to a lot of people in mental health, because that's it's just how it is, uh, they do inhuman experimentation on them, which would include uh, attaching electronic equipment to their brains while uh, um, providing them with physical stimulation in terms of pain. So, uh, yeah, this guy, uh, he, they, they do experiment on people, and to lesser extents, depending on what category you're in. Uh, and I don't think there are that many guys in my category, I can tell you that much. I'm quite unique and I'm quite badass. Whereas, you know, most people in mental health are not badass, and that includes the psychiatrists, the goons that work for them, and all those cocksuckers, they're not badass.
ass. They're a bunch of fucking shyster, cocksucking, or, you know, shit-licking, um, everything wrong with them type of people. And I don't mean any of that as a compliment. I mean, it is insulting as I possibly can. Uh, I Like, if I could think of a combination of words or whatever that would be offensive, and these people are, you know, um, I, I won't get into the psychology of their mental state, but uh, there are a lot of things about them that uh, you ain't gonna like, that's, that's for sure. And, um, I mean, it is well known, especially in the cosmetic industry, that they experiment on mice and they do all kinds of barbaric things to them because they, they do look at them as uh, lesser animals, and that's a very cruel and sadistic thing for them to do, and they do it. Um, yeah, so all that, you know, has to be considered, of course. Um, however, them saying that they can eliminate pain and make it so that uh, it's like it you, you don't feel pain. Most people, uh, I know this because I had a grandfather who passed on. Uh, he was given opioids of some kind. I don't know. I didn't look into it. I hardly even saw him. I saw him once for like 30 seconds uh, as he was passing because my parents had this thing where they don't want us to see someone who's uh, passing. So that was that. Uh, anyway, I, I had heard that, you know, he'd been vomiting and he couldn't take shits and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So not really eliminating the pain, is it? Uh, no, not at all. But I do believe they can eliminate it. But this Julian Huge Rat, or Huguet, or whatever his name, uh, from Seeker, uh, he goes on to say that, um... Um, that they can eliminate pain, but pain is useful because it, uh, it lets our bodies know that something is wrong. The problem is doctors like to overthink things. They like to elaborate on things that, uh, you know, aren't necessarily problems, but uh, like what I said about the opioids that they talked about before, and how, you know, in the long run, it actually, you know, doesn't do anybody any good uh, because it leads to addiction, you know, and all that other sort of problems that it comes with it. And it also comes with, you know, pain problems as well. I mean, uh, you can't take shits when you've, uh, when, when people have been taking opioids and all that sort of stuff. And um, they are working on a medication that are specifically get rid of the pain uh, and they're only going to administer the people that are on they're on their way out anyway there's no there's no saving them and only for certain people because uh, they will judge if you're deemed worthy or not based on your history um, they will pick on people to uh, not have access to uh, this information um, so we're losing track here. I wanted to get back on point here. Uh, and that was him talking about, um, how pain is useful and the long-term effects of it. If they deem that you are doing something that they do not like, uh, for example, with me, with alcoholism, uh, it doesn't matter. You could have a few beers every couple of days, but if they want to treat that as a problem, they'll label it as alcoholism. Uh, they'll go, well, in the long run, he'll get these health effects. And the psychology behind that is it's okay to introduce him to uh, understanding pain, which means living with it without uh, the treatment plan of properly addressing it. It means getting them used to it so their perception is changed, but they have to live with the pain and it doesn't matter what your perception of pain is, it is the same thing no matter what. And that's the same thing with an opioid, except they want to do that through different means. They want you to, instead of not feel the pain uh, because your brain's dulled, it's, uh, it's off track, they want you to feel the pain, but have a different perception of it. 
And the problem is, this opens the door for them to decide on anybody. They could decide because you had a poor attendance record at school, or um, that, um, you know, you're a slack-ass McDonald's employee or something, that you are of a lesser category. Because everything is over-compartmentalized with these people. And they know all of that shit. I mean, this dweeb Julian Huguet, well, I highly doubt he knows much. He's, you know, poster boy for this uh, infographics. He's told what he's told, and, you know, it's really, you know, like uh, the old gentry that make the decisions. But he seems quite happy going along with it. And for him, it's, it's convenient, isn't it? Uh, you know, he gets to play host, play cool guy, you know, uh, successful YouTube channel, uh, probably a rich kid to start with, doesn't need the money, just happy to be on the television, uh, today's television, which is YouTube, and, you know, uh, probably has no problem getting, getting chicks, never in any pain at all in his life, and he's the kind of guy who makes decisions for other people, and he will judge them based on what he knows it's the kind of guy he's the kind of guys that are like that and they don't have a problem with you being in pain they don't because they see it as an educational tool and a manipulative tool as well and in their opinion if someone is uh alcoholically imbued uh then you know it's good for them to say well we'll associate this with pain i have done that with other videos that they've directly given me a sore throat to curb my alcohol consumption, people like him will take it a step further and go, well, um, it's not only for his long-term health that we're doing this, it's because alcohol is associated with all this other stuff, and they're trying to create uh, new recreational things for people to do, uh, but are money-making. You know, there are plenty of recreational things that aren't money-making for people. People going to the park or reading a book or anything like that, uh, that doesn't make money. So um, a dweeb like this, Julian Huguet, you know what he wants? He's pushing for people to smoke marijuana. Uh, so is he really that great a guy? Does he associate pain differently? Is, he has a higher understanding, but does, having a higher understanding doesn't make him a great guy. And marijuana, although uh, with a little bit of insight, uh, it can be less harmful to the body than, say, cigarettes, although it has more tar. Uh, a lot of the people who got esophageal cancer and all the other bad things associated with cigarettes uh, did so because they were completely fucking moronic. They'd fucking smoke a pack a day, in it, or at least, and, you know, all that kinds of stuff. And it's like, is that really necessary? Or was that overindulgence? But if they change marijuana to uh, create the desired effects in what is the user regardless of whether it's legal or not, the fact that it's legal doesn't mean it's any different from them being a user, um, then they won't smoke as much and therefore won't do as much damage to their lungs. But as a whole, if it is, well, it is more or less, it's putting smoke into your body and it's got chemicals in it and they don't know what they're doing and they do need test subjects. So they are the lab mice. They're the lab mice. And what are these idiots going to do? They're going to go on a social media and ex tell everybody their story. Kind of like me, but I know that already. Uh, I, I'd prefer, you know, to be drinking my beers in peace, but obviously that's not going to happen. Uh, I'm going to have cocksuckers like this uh, bastard, uh, you know, uh, interfering with my life in an indirect way. Uh, because he's a sniveling little coward who couldn't fucking handle pain in his life. And he will get off scot-free if anything should happen to him in the future. You know, uh, as far as them developing medications that have zero pain, and that means none of the bad baggage that goes with it, he'll get access to it. You won't, but he will. Because you are the guinea pigs, and he's higher up in the echelon of society.
don't get me wrong, he's the poster boy. Uh, so, you know, you gotta take that into consideration. He's not entirely bad, but, you know, he is a, still a weaselly little rat. And, um, this whole perception of pain and how they want to manage it, the implication is that they want you to tolerate it, not not feel it, and sometimes they make the decision for you whether you should be in pain or not because they feel it's an educational tool and a manipulative one, to get them to believe what you what they want you to believe, and uh, if it's you know s the cessation of activities that they do not like, uh, and it doesn't necessarily have to be um, you know um, a, a chemical thing or you know a biological thing. It could be you know uh, bad behavior in other ways, reckless driving, you know daredevil type stuff, jackass type stuff, uh, it could be anything. And when they make that decision, they will deliberately put you in uh, a, a very bad place for their own research. They experiment on people, and the way this is looking, it's looking like they want to advance this agenda further and further and further, because they want to discover every possible aspect of, um, of, of this particular subject. There are many subjects in scientist uh, research, but this is definitely one of them. And one that I don't want to be a test patient of anymore. Uh, it's not fun. And, um, you know, people like him, they don't care. They don't feel the consequences. They don't, um, you know have to deal with any of it. They uh, observe it for themselves. They learn. Uh, you don't learn nothing. And they come along and tell you what to do afterwards. And because they put you in a certain situation, it almost is as if they're smarter. But the thing is, they're not actually because they're just some asshole who's remained hidden, who's stealing all the information for themselves. That's what scientists do. They create a scenario where it's an enclosed environment and uh, they observe and uh, they keep all that no, uh, documentation for themselves and tell nobody but themselves about it. And then therefore, uh, you learn nothing and then they make the decision on what to do with people like you afterwards. And it's not in your best interest. This Weasley cocksucker would uh, prescribe the average everyday person uh, a dosage of uh, manipulative pain any day of the week, but when it came to his turn, and he has a turn, he would never do it. He would never do it. And that's because he's a Weasley worm, but yet he looks like the good guy on the TV. Oh, look at me. I'm, I'm so enlightened. I'm a nice guy. I'm telling people about pain and how they can relieve it. All the people who are in pain chronically because of the medical system and how fucked up and incompetent it is are going to start sucking up to me and they're going to think I'm so great. And he's, I guess he's, uh, you know, not unattractive of male. That's not a homosexual thing to say. You know, you can, you can point out if a man's handsome, whatever. But anyway, um, and he doesn't deserve it because he's a weaselly, spoiled, privileged rat. I mean, uh, he's not a whole lot different than me, except... I happen to be a mouse, and mice are a lot prettier than fucking rats. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to go groveling to this guy like a lot of people in the comment section are. Oh, let's have a look. Finally, we won't have to worry about finding Lego bricks on the floor again. Okay, that was a bit sarcastic. Right t-shirt to wear while discussing the pain. Pain is the only reminder that you're... What? Okay, maybe I was slightly wrong about that. That's okay. I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong about things. Oh, but it does look like the bureaucratic line on this entire thing. They don't want you to know nothing. This is part of the psychology about it. Um, here, I have an answer for this. This is still the dummy version. Anyone could read up this shit on this particular video.
Um, hmm. I have to get back to it. Hate this subject. Really hate it. And I, if I can do anything to fuck people up like this, I will do it. As far as all his research, everything he's done, and all the work he's put into it, you know, you know, flipping pages and writing documentations, and uh, basically having people suck up to him all the time, and him making too much money, as well as the money he already had because he's a spoiled rich kid. Um, if I can cause him any inconvenience, I I'm going to do it. Uh, no. Uh, people like him are not getting away with that kind of shit. Okay, these comments aren't worth noting upon. They're all just brain rotten, wasting fucking time shit. I mean, they are right, ideally, because his closing comment was, ideally, you don't want to be in pain at all, which is the truth. But the underlying message is he would agree that pain is a useful tool and therefore manipulative, and then therefore they have the right to dispense it at their will and they do and you may not actually be guilty of anything in order for them to do that they just may see a personality flaw in you and decide that that is the appropriate action and you know uh i know uh this video along with a lot of my other ones is going to receive a lot of hate i'm not going to see it and your common everyday idiot probably isn't going to see it either on my youtube channel but behind closed doors, wheezy little rats like this, Julian Huguet, uh, are pissed off with me because I happen to be a part of their program as the as the mouse, of course. And um, you know, I'm put in the shitty, city, shitty situation, and they want me to explain things in a different manner. You know, I I could have written all this down and done it professional. I probably would have been better, but I didn't do that. I did it off the top of my head. Um, how long have I been talking? Just give me a second. 22 minutes. Oh, really? Fascinating stuff. I'm contributing to science. I'm trying to destroy it, but I'm contributing to it. Because uh, I'm sick of these bastards. Absolute scum, all of them. Uh... What else did he talk about this? Oh, he talked about neurotransmitters in the brain and all that kind of stuff. I talked about how they want to do that to people, and they do do that to people. Not a lot of people, but uh, they want to normalize that sort of thought. And you know how I feel about people normalizing bad things. Blah, 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 what did he say? He only talked for three minutes in this video. So you can guarantee you he's been talking for years about this sort of subject uh, behind closed doors, and he's just giving you the quick garbage version of events. So, yeah, essentially, if you're wealthy enough and powerful enough, you will be able to pass peacefully without any of the negative effects, and in, you know... Uh, be able to live uh, without pain or anything. However, if you are most people, um, you're better off to the scientific community as a test subject for experimentation on the brain. So I feel bad for you know um, um, you know many old folks that uh, that uh, you know are dying in hospitals and things like that because. <laughs> they're being experimented on and no patient uh, or not many uh, receives the exact same treatment plan as other patients and they'll go well they got different conditions blah 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 and that's not the truth at all the truth at all is that they um, want to observe different balances to see what they can get as their desired effect and you know uh the Stooges you deal with uh, in those places don't know shit. All they know is to be told what to do. They're fucking morons. 
And they watch shit like this and they're programmed to it. They're changing the structure of the gentry. And then it, it goes up from there. And uh, the higher up they go, uh, the more disgusting and rat-like they really are. And this guy, you know, if his shirt were a bit torn up, you know, given his sunken face and all that, and he had, you know, dirt on him and grease, he'd look like a fucking meth addict, to be honest with you. This Julian Huguette. Have a good look at him, man. Do you, does that look like the face to someone you trust? In fact, pause it at 301 seconds. Uh, three minutes and one second. Take a good look at him. Do you trust this guy? I don't. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm starting to ramble now. Uh, okay, so this is my video uh, that I'm talking about to uh, contradict uh, this little bastard in what he's doing. And, uh, yeah, I hope you people learned something or at least started thinking things from a different perspective. Um, yeah, because uh, you, you, you can't take the perspective of somebody who's not going to be uh, in, isn't going to have any problems uh, no matter what happens, as opposed to someone who is going to have a lot of problems uh, because of what that other person is saying. Uh, all I'm asking is for you to think. Anyway, um, talk to you people later. Have a good one.